Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys another cool mod today and this mod is called the Dark Messiah's Mods for Minecraft 1.2.5. Basically what this mod does is that it adds in obsidian tools and armor into your Minecraft game. They also have a new feature called the Nether Mod. The creator of the mod messaged me not only once, but four times asking if I can make a review for his updated mod, version 1.7. I did make an old previous video, but he wants a new video. He also asked me if I can make a full review on his mod. But anyways guys, let me go ahead and show you guys one of my best reviews for this mod. When mining for obsidian, there isn't much you can do, right? All you can basically do with the obsidian is make a nether portal. Now with the Dark Messiah's mod, you can use the obsidian to craft yourself new tools and armor. But before we start crafting, we need to gather up ourselves some obsidian. Once we have enough obsidian, we can craft ourselves an obsidian ingot. Picture the ingot as an ordinary ingot, but stronger than diamond. You can craft yourself new tools and armor with that ingot. The obsidian pickaxe can mine through obsidian like it's nothing. Now it's time to go to the nether for some nether run, or you may say run or rune. I'm not sure, that's not even a word. These nether run are new ores that will glow, and when you mine them, they sound just like dirt. Once mined, three nether run gems will drop. With those gems, you can craft yourself new tools and armor. But when fighting with the nether run sword, mobs will catch on fire. When pigs and chickens and cows catch on fire, and when they die off, their droppings will be cooked. That's pretty cool. Now if you have yourself a shovel, axe, or pickaxe, you can actually craft yourself a multi-tool, which combines all three together. Crafting is simple, but you need to craft them in this exact order. Now with these new tools, you can destroy anything in your way. If there's a horde of zombie in front of you, go ahead and take them down. Since the obsidian sword is like a one-hit kill, nothing can scare you now. Maybe not even John. <laughs> when you're done killing all the zombies in your way, make sure that you collect all of the rotten flesh. You can actually do something useful for a change with them. You can cook them now, and they'll become a cooked rotten flesh. <laughs> How original. When you eat the cooked rotten flesh, it will restore 3 hunger bars and it will give you 15 seconds of instant health. There is also new achievements that you could achieve when you are playing Minecraft. From crafting yourself an obsidian ingot or crafting yourself an obsidian axe. But for some odd reason, I can't really achieve these. I've already tried many times and yet I can't achieve one of these. I've already crafted myself an obsidian ingot and yet the achievement didn't work. Remember that the obsidian armor is more durable than the diamond armor. To craft yourself any of the Ryum tools, you have to craft yourself an obsidian stick. To craft yourself an obsidian stick, all you need is some obsidian ingots. Just like crafting any ordinary stick, you just place one on the bottom and top, and there you go, you'll get yourself a set of two sticks. You place a stick in the bottom, and there you go, now you can craft yourself any of the Ryan tools. But overall, this mod is awesome. It adds in new tools and new armors that you guys can mess with. This mod only works single player, and I know that the creator did ask me to make a 20 minute review on his mod, but um, there's really nothing else to review. I've already reviewed everything. But anyways, guys, if you guys are still interested in this mod, I still have the forum link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. If you guys are interested in this mod and you want to know how to install this mod, let's go ahead and see how to install this mod. It's actually really easy.
Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install, so we shouldn't have any errors. But the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing this mod is to go here to Options and Force Updating Game. And the reason why I'm going to Force Updating Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get a black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and Login to download a brand new Minecraft thought jar in which we're going to mod. I'm going to go ahead and minus this and and leave this updating it is a bit uh, late making this video I know look at this it is uh, 1 10 in the morning but anyways guys you're gonna go ahead and get the downloads from my description you're gonna get mod loader dark messiahs minecraft mods and you're gonna get uh, uh, minecraft forge go ahead and get minecraft forge client uh, all this stuff just go ahead and get it from my description it's gonna take you to my website and go ahead and get it like I said and once you have it, drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better. And let's go ahead and install this mod. I'm going to go here to start. Search your program file. I'm going to type in percent app data percent. And for Windows XP user, you should see here run. And you run percent data percent. And it should take you up here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see dot Minecraft in the very top. You're, you're going to go into your dot Minecraft folder. You're going to see bin, resources, save everything else. Go into your bin folder. Before you open up your Minecraft thought jar in which we're going to mod, you have to make sure that you have your Minecraft game closed. Here's my Minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your Minecraft game before installing any mod. So exit off your Minecraft game. Now you're going to right click your Minecraft thought jar. It's located in your bin folder. Open with WinRAR. I already said zip opener. So you're going to open up your Minecraft thought jar with WinRAR. Go ahead and open that up and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete meta inf. You have to delete meta inf. So right click meta inf and delete files. Say yes and delete meta inf. Now meta inf is gonna continue. Open a mod loader, double click mod loader and move it aside. You're gonna hide the files from mod loader and simply drag it into the Minecraft thought jar side and replace press OK and you are done with mod loader. Go ahead and exit off mod loader and move it aside. Now you need Minecraft Forge, so double click Minecraft Forge. Move it aside, you're going to see a lot of files. Select any file you like and press Ctrl A to highlight all the files. So you're going to highlight all the files from Minecraft Forge client and simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar set and replace press OK and you are done with the Minecraft Forge. Go ahead and exit that off and move it aside. Now you need the Dark Messiah's mods. Go ahead and double click that and move it aside. You're going to see a lot of files. You're going to highlight all those files and simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar side and replace press OK and you are done. That's basically how to install a mod. You could install single player's command. You could install anything you like. Really too many items because they're mostly all compatible with this mod and you could have a blast. Uh, most of the items do show up in creative so you could have a blast with that. Let me go ahead and show you. And uh, there you go. So that's basically it. Uh, this mod adds in, you know, uh, obsidian tools and armors and all that good stuff. So you could be having a blast. And maybe, maybe in the update, uh, there will be uh, multiplayer features. I'm never too sure because uh, there is Forge compatibility. So maybe he can get it working for a, a Forge server. So anyways, guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod. This mod is really awesome. Why am I destroying this ship, you may ask? I don't know why. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all your support, all your likes, favorites, comments, and all that other good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Lost chances, sideways glances, I will let them be without me. Creation, celebration, I will let them pass me by and nothing ventured, nothing gained.